the Israeli military rescued two hostages in Rafah in an operation that has left dozens of Palestinians dead. Elon Musk has denied Ukrainian claims his company's Starlink terminals are being sold to Russia's military. Nearly half of the world's migratory species are in decline, largely due to human impact, according to a UN study. Costa Rica is drowning in narco activity and wants the EU to help in the fight. The Israeli military rescued two hostages in Rafah in an operation that has left dozens of Palestinians dead. Both were airlifted to Sheba Hospital and were reported to be in good medical condition. They have been identified as 60-year-old Fernando Simon Marmon and 70-year-old Luis Ha, who were kidnapped by Hamas militants in the 7th of October cross-border attack that triggered the war. לוחמי הימ"מ חיבקו והגנו בגופם על לואיס ופרננדו והחל קרב נועז וחילופי אש כבדים בכמה מוקדים במקביל עם מחבלים רבים. At least 67 Palestinians were killed in airstrikes that were part of the raid, according to Palestinian hospital officials, among them women and children. Several others were wounded. The Israeli attacks left a path of destruction in Rafah, a designated safe zone where 1.4 million of Gaza's displaced sought refuge. The attacks come a few hours after President Joe Biden warned Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu that Israel should not conduct a military operation against Hamas in Rafah without a credible and executable plan to protect civilians. We want us lost. SpaceX founder Elon Musk has denied that his company is selling its Starlink terminals to Russia. Ukraine's military service said on Sunday that attacking Russian forces had been found using the terminals to aid their attack. It released what it said was a recording of an intercepted conversation between two Russian soldiers as proof. Russia also denied the claims. Starlink terminals use a series of satellites run by Elon Musk company SpaceX to provide high-speed communications. They have been vital in giving Ukraine's military an edge over invading Russian troops. The U.S. Senate voted on Sunday to advance a foreign aid bill that, if approved, could mean billions of dollars of much-needed support for Ukraine. The, affirmative. the motion is agreed to. Russian forces appear to have constructed a 30-kilometer-long barrier dubbed the Tsar Train in occupied Donetsk region, possibly to serve as a defensive line against future Ukrainian assaults. The Institute for the Study of War says satellite imagery dated on the 10th of May 2023 and then the 6th and the 10th of February 2024 shows that Russian forces constructed a long line of train cars stretching from occupied Olenivka, south of Donetsk city, to Volnovakha, southeast of Vuhledar and north of Mariupol over the past nine months. A Ukrainian open source intelligence interactive online map of the military operations Deep State reported on the 11th of February that Russian forces have assembled more than 2,100 freight cars into a 30 kilometer long train. The source reported that Russian forces began assembling the train in July 2023 and suggested that Russian forces intend to use the train as a defensive line against future Ukrainian assaults. The railway line between Olenivka and Volnovakha is roughly six kilometers from the Institute for the Study of War's current assessed front line southeast of Novomikhailivka at its closest point and is in the area of the front that was relatively inactive when Russian forces reportedly began construction. Russian forces have recently made marginal territorial gains in this area. The Institute for the Study of War says the Russians could have assembled the train for other purposes as well. 
Close to half of the world's migratory animals are in drastic decline due to factors including humanity's impact on their habitats and climate change. That's the alarming conclusion of a new UN study of 1,200 species around the world. It says 44% of them are in decline and around a fifth of those are threatened with extinction. These species live in habitats where the habitats are very important in terms of providing us with clean water, clean air, food, coastal and other littoral protection and so on. And the habitats can't provide these ecosystem services if we don't look after the animals that are part of them. Forests aren't just about trees. Wetlands aren't just about reeds and grasses. It's very much about the whole ecosystem and the animals that live in them. And migratory species are part of all of these ecosystems. Delegates at a UN conference on the crisis agreed to evaluate proposals for targeted conservation measures to be taken by international authorities. The report's authors stressed that because migration is a transnational phenomenon, only coordinated action by world governments can save some species. Costa Rica is drowning in narco activity and wants the EU to help in the fight. Cocaine and fentanyl have already swarmed the outskirts of the country's capital, where police are hunting for gang leaders. The tropical paradise is on the brink of collapse. These people who are the leaders of some of these organizations, if they were to place them with arms or drugs, we would proceed with the detention immediately. We are in Pavas, one of Costa Rica's most dangerous drug districts. Almost every day police come here searching for cartel bosses that are suspected to hide in these buildings. What's happening to Costa Rica? Is the popular tourist destination slowly turning into a narco state? Narcotráfico, eh, asesinatos, robos, asaltos. No, de noche es recomendable no salir. Last year, gang warfare over territories saw Costa Rica's murder rate soaring by 40% to a record high. Having abolished its army 70 years ago, the peaceful country has little means to suppress the violence. No estábamos preparados para enfrentar un narcotráfico tan violento y que mata tantas personas. Hay una gran diferencia entre los recursos con que cuenta la policía con los grandes recursos que cuenta hoy el narcotráfico. Costa Rica and the European Union now want to cooperate more closely on security issues. Tougher intervention in Central America could also reduce the record amount of cocaine in Europe. We are ready to, to help also in terms of uh, sharing good practices and what is being done in, in Europe. So there will be experts which will help in, uh, on the port authorities, on the police side, and also on the legal, uh, legal aspect. Meanwhile, Costa Rican police continue to search for the gang leaders in Pavas. The government plans to increase the number of police officers by 10%. Too late, according to many, who fear the country will fall under narco control within just months. Johannes Bleschberger, Euronews, Pavas, Costa Rica. Solar panel manufacturers in Europe say the sector is facing an existential challenge from heavily subsidized Chinese competitors. According to insiders, Chinese solar panel manufacturers have a near monopoly on the sector. And if no measures are taken, Europe's industry could collapse within months. European manufacturers have asked the European Commission for emergency aid, including the purchase of accumulated stock to provide liquidity. So China has been subsidizing their industry for more than a decade. Uh, they took a strategic decision for more than like 15 years ago that they saw PV as a uh, yeah, strategic technology. They have done so in other areas such as uh, e electric vehicles and batteries, etc. Lower prices elsewhere have made several companies decide to relocate outside of the continent, whilst others have made staff redundant. Para luchar contra la feroz competencia china y evitar caer en la bancarrota, fábricas como esta, Solarge, en Países Bajos se han tenido que adaptar e innovar muchísimo más. Por ejemplo, creando este panel solar, que es mucho más ligero que los habituales y se puede instalar en tejados que no soportan el peso.
But even for those innovators, the situation could soon become untenable. If it takes one or two years, a lot of companies and also us, we will see some impact, definitely, with having to go down with with price levels and being less competitive and uh, profitable. Chinese competition not only endangers companies, but also could affect Europe's industrial independence. A module produced in China is about 50% cheaper than one made in Europe. Meanwhile, European producers account for only 3% of the EU market. In the medium term, the EU has two directives almost finalised that could reduce competition. The first would require 40% of the clean technologies installed in the EU to be manufactured here as well. The second would prohibit the sale in the EU of products made with forced labour, something that happens in several areas of China. The European Commission has not yet announced any emergency measures and is still assessing the situation. It's important that the solar market in Europe keeps growing because we're still not at the levels that we need to reach the 2030 targets. So any industrial strategy for the manufacturing needs to make sure that it doesn't impact negatively the continued growth of the European solar markets. Striking the right balance is essential for the EU. Solar energy is one of the cheapest and easiest to install, so rapid deployment could make a difference in meeting climate targets. By 2030, 42.5% of all EU energy will have to come from renewable sources.